Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today in this video we're going to be making a really cute baseball mug rug. Now I happened to pick out some beautiful plaid fabric for the front and the back and I was looking for white vinyl but I don't have any so my baseball is going to be pretty oh, no. with flowers. So there we go. And the colors I've picked, the uh, baseball bats are going to be a nice kind of medium brown. And I wanted to match this burgundy. And of course, there's some nice stripes of black. And then there's also white in it. So I think it's going to look amazing. Dawn is fighting with my cheater bobbins. The one missing right here is burgundy and we can't seem to get it open so we may or may not okay yeah no <laughs> leave it we need to go to my luminaire 2 my brother luminaire 2 and let's get started on it Sorry. jump right in i tried yeah okay so no changing colors i tried machine yes Okay, so the first step is going to be the placement line. All right, and this one we're using water-soluble stabilizer because we want it to be the shape of the mug rug. So water-soluble stabilizer makes a nice clean edge, which I really like. So that's our placement. Now I'm going to put in the warm and natural. So what's coming up next week from Dawn's Den? Um, hockey mug rug. Hockey mug rug. And you're going to love it. It's got some nice detail to it. Nice. All right. And then a bowling. So a bowling. Yep. yeah, Dawn, Dawn listens. We listen. He wrote it all down and ran downstairs and digitized them all. So it's good. So, batting, any kind of batting will do. I happen to have some nice pieces. I'm running out, though, of uh, warm and natural. They, it's really nice for the mug rugs. But you don't have to have it, of course. There we go. And I think I'll be a good embroiderer today and trim this. So, Don oh, can... Really? Can we go back to the desk? Yep. What's wrong? You're going to be a good embroiderer in trim. Oh, stop saying oh no for no reason. I said, oh, really? Don. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. I'm going to be good. Sometimes I skip steps and everybody can see what happens when you try to skip steps. So don't skip steps. Soccer. Oh, write it down. Sticky note right I'll there. Write it down. Right at my desk. Anything else? Bring it on. We like to do lots of polls and different things like that. So make sure when you're in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, you participate and get your voice heard. Because uh, I want to start and do some different things. And Apparently, I occasionally listen. Hey, hey what? I occasionally listen. I made him say it again. I don't listen to you, bub. I know. Bub. Yeah. Of course I do. You do. We listen to each other. What? <laughs> I wasn't listening. Alright, you've been talking. Yeah, thank you. Please don't do it again. Can we go back to uh, Captain Jack? He's up. Oh, Bob and police were about half half a bobbin so i decided to risk it i need a siren sound for bobbin police <laughs> all right i'll work on that i did have a soundboard um okay so i did a terrible job at trimming the batting so now we're gonna cover it up with some nice fabric and nobody's gonna know right right so stitch it down it's just gonna go around once and I'm going to wait and trim this maybe at the end. Oh, I love it. I love the colors. That, this is my new favorite 
favorite fabric, I think, Don. I love it's it. fantastic. Love it. Yeah, I plaid's think, always I nice. I wish I had some plaid shirts because I would wear them. Um, is there such a thing as black base or black bats? Probably not. Yeah, maybe they make aluminum ones and everything. Aluminum? Aluminum isn't I've black. Seen black on the aluminum. Oh no, I was just gonna be lazy and not <laughs> change <laughs> my color. That's why I asked. Don, how many coffees have you had today? Two. I don't know if two's enough. Yeah, Did you I change the cameras it. while I'm threading? No. No, could ya? Nah. <laughs> I, w I would appreciate it. You know. I'm going to give him a dirty look. So, now I have changed it to a dark brown. So, we're going to go ahead and let it stitch out. And see how the brown looks. I hope I picked a really good color. I'm going to get my scissors here because... And I'm going to stop because you shouldn't do anything while the machine is stitching. And I'm going to cut this off only because it was covering up the googly eyes. And we can't have that. So, And I don't want it interfering with the, the camera. Uh, I just can't find a huge block of time to sew out a small town charm. You better get caught up, Judy Quilt, because this week, I believe, is the reveal. Yeah. Yeah, I know. A lot of people are behind. That camera's awful flashy. But that's okay. You can't fix it. YouTube. But that's okay. Ooh, I like the brown I picked. That's nice enough. Yeah. Wonderful. It's on a great part on the 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 what? No! No, we can't hide the googly eyes. They are a necessity, that's for sure. Yeah, it's really flashy today. It's not my computer. We've come to that conclusion. It's not my computer. We just can't figure it out, so... I don't know. I do not know. It's probably YouTube. YouTube messes everything up, man. It's annoying. Did everyone watch my short video of stitching out the sweet pea bag? Because it's, it's quite cute. I like it. Stitch away. Stitch away. So, the baseball mug rug will be perfect for my sister-in-law. Yeah, I was thinking, don't they have different color baseballs? I mean, you could do whatever you want. Purple, lin, hot pink. Most are white, but some of them are logos. Oh, you could, yeah, you could do that. There's enough room you could put a little logo in the middle sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know if there's... Well, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I was thinking if I had it, I would like some white marine vinyl. Because I think that would really make it look good. Um, but I don't have any. Same thing. But I don't have any of that. I had flowers. Um, I think Sandy sent me a whole bunch. There was flowers... I was really tempted with the unicorn colors and sparklies, but I decided against it. It was it was pretty tempting though, and I think it would have looked okay. I, I like your designer it's well, it's got embossed flowers on it. Is it a designer one? Don says it's a designer baseball. I even got my cheater bobbins out to make this a good one. Well, put them back in the drawer. I want to work on couching. Do you know what couching is? No. No? It's a 
old kind of fashion kind of thing that they used to do by hand, but you use wool. Oh. And there's patterns built into the machine and it feeds the wool through and then it sews on top of it like on a big zigzag. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. That's why you wanted yarn. That's why I wanted yarn, and Don got me. So we're going to have fun with this. Can you go to a bigger camera? We're just going to show you the wool that Don got so we can so we could play with it. Isn't that stunning? called Karen Skinny Cakes. I mean, obviously it's way too much. I will make something out of the rest. Yeah, I just wanted bright colors and so I can play with the wool and the background and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. So the wool, you have to, you know, obviously thread your thread and the wool has a whole different path and I'm pretty excited about it. Then, once I see how it's done, maybe I can uh, learn how to digitize some. So that'll be coming up. I think that'll be really cool to see. Yeah, yeah. That was one of the things. I think that Dreamy had it, but you had to buy something extra or something. I don't remember. I never got to it with Big Dreamy. But Captain Jack, he wants to... You can go... Yeah, you're back. Thanks for telling me. Um, Captain Jack has, oh, I don't know, maybe there's 10 built-in designs, and it looks really cute. So I'm going to read up about it, and I'll go over how you set it up, and then we're going to stitch it. Now, these are bigger designs, obviously. You can't do yeah. a mini anything with it. You can't do my one-inch minis with it? No. Now it's about wool, not thread. But once I get the hang of it and actually, I've never actually seen it in action, then I think I'd like to get a little fancy with it and make some. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? I'm excited. I do have my wool here. Um, yarn, I guess it's not really wool anymore, is it? But you know, I think it'll be fun. And it's a different technique and I love it. Sue has so many fantastic lessons on digitizing on the channel. Yeah, I'd venture to say hundreds, hundreds of digitizing ones. So what I always tell people that if you're using, for example, Hatch, there's a ton of Hatch videos, but make sure you go through the series, the Sunset with Sue series using shapes because I'm using Perfect Embroidery Professional, but I'm using basic stitches. So you can watch it and then transfer it ov over to your hatch. So if you know where the running stitch is, where the shape tool is, stuff like that, that's, that's what you want to do. And it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed them. Yeah, lots and lots of digitizing. Um, okay, I'm going to do a thread change, Don. Okay. What color should I do the outside of the ball? I didn't really think about that. I kind of want to do it in the burgundy. I guess that would be okay, wouldn't it? You do whatever color you want. Yeah, I think the burgundy is going to look really... Tie it into the background nicely. Yeah, trying to. Yeah, trying to a little bit. So, okay and okay... Just thread in the burgundy. I have all my thread near m the luminaire, which I think is really nice. All right, ready to go, Don. Melinda is saying hello from Chicago. Hello, hello. Let's see how that burgundy looks. Oh, it's perfect. Yep, I'm going to add it in as much as I can. And Julie from Michigan. So now my next question is, is this gonna show through no it's pretty good it's kind of like a batik fabric kind of it's kind of strange stuff you could double it up 
you could add some organza or something like that if you wanted to that would be easy change maybe the color soften it up That'd be neat. all right let's go back to the desk don and we're going to do some trimming trim time with tula pink scissors move my stuff out of the way so yeah it didn't really show through cool this is just stuff I enjoy using. It Sweet actually designer baseball. Well, why not? Yeah. It um it trims out really nicely cuz of the type of fabric it is. So, I kind of like it. So, make sure when you're trimming, you always take your time. The better you cut, the closer you trim, the nicer you trim, the better your applique is going to look. And I've discovered that really good sharp <laughs> applique scissors make all the difference. Right, Don? Mm -hmm. I learned that with Tula Pink. All right, so I'm going to use my duckbill scissors in the correct manner. So I have the duckbill part kind of gliding off of the water soluble stabilizer. It's not too delicate stabilizer, but you really, really, really don't want to put a hole in it and have everything shift so uh this is why i like the duckbill scissors now to each their own lynn tried them and she did not care for them at all and once she found the scissors that worked for her her cutting was immaculate it was perfect two questions what yes uh, what are the usage rules for your files okay um, and? and the other one is someone wants to know if you've made placemats. I just did, actually, on Sunday, and it turned out spectacular. Um, I used my, uh, what was it, Block of the Month 6? Yes. And I'm just fixing up as I'm talking here. And I put um, 6 of the six inch blocks together and made uh, a placemat and it was awesome. So Judy Quilt, this is for you. Get it all off there. Okay, back to the machine. Files, yep, yes, one, yes, I will. Just one thing at a gotcha. time here. All right, we back? Yep. All right, now we're going to stitch out the stitching. Awesome we're going to stitch some stitching. So you can... Use my designs as many times as you want. Uh, th these are the normal rules. The digital design you can't sell or change a few things and call it your own. That would be not cool. Don't share them. All you can do with them is stitch them out, give them for gifts. You can stitch them out and sell them if you want. We try to make things that will work for everyone. So as long as everyone sticks to those rules and I can keep all this going, it's fantastic. Fantastic. So hopefully that answered your question. And if you ever see anybody sharing my designs, please let me know. We're struggling a little bit right now, just like everyone else. And it would really do a lot of damage if people stop buying the designs because we don't have commercials up on YouTube actually we do they're at the very end so you can ignore them and that was the deal that we made is that people would buy the designs and make up for the commercials so it's Angela that's asking about that and she said so you can sell the mud rugs right yeah yeah be my guest let me know how you do I am gonna do burgundy let me know how you do. It's just the actual design. And you know what? Inspired by, that stuff doesn't work either. So you can't look at my design and make one that's similar and say it's yours. It's not really fair. Just think if you were digitizing, right? So uh, you're more than welcome to sell the designs. Um, again, like I said, let me know how you, got, how you do with the sales and which one sold better i'd love to hear about that so that answered it right yeah and can you show the placement 
Uh, it is upstairs. Maybe you could run and get it. I took it upstairs on the table because it's You're so efficient. it's so pretty. It had to be up there. It's in the living room actually because I showed Lynn. Oh, I love that burgundy. Oh, that's cool. Makes it stand out super fast. I thought um, silver would look good as well. You have to go back to the desk okay. for that. Let me know yeah, go ahead. It's just doing satin stitches, so we have a short amount of time. All right, this is the placemat I did. So this is our block of the month, and I did three of the quilting at the six, uh, six by six size, and three of the snowflakes, and then sewed them together, put a back on it, top stitched it, stitch in the ditch, and that's it. And what I did, because people are always asking why, why do we trim the batting as we're making the squares? So I left some in. This one has batting and you see how thick that is? And this one does not and it's nice and flat. I wanted to show everyone the difference with that. All right, we go back to the machine, Don. Okay, so now the next step says it's just like the shape of it. And that tells you that we need to put our backing fabric on and we're gonna do it face down. And all I do for this, and it saves a lot of time, um, is that I just slightly lift it up and I'm gonna slip it underneath. The really good part is if you trim it, you can see through the water soluble stabilizer. I can see you're not going to play chicken. Uh, 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 maybe. <laughs> um, so you can, you can see it and you won't mess it up. So once you have that down, remember face down so your back is pretty. And oh, do you love that burgundy, Don? I totally love it. I think that that's really nice, even around the ball. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you, Isabel. Oh, thank you, Isabel. And someone just bought something, so thank you, thank you. Let's go back to the desk, Don. Because now it's time That's to, fine. whoops, careful there. Trim out the back. And I've got a little wrinkle there, but it's my fault because I didn't iron. I, I kind of had everything ready and I meant to iron. Sure, sure, huh? Actually, I'm gonna do my, I always wanna go the opposite way. I often do things backwards, but I do want my duck build scissors to work for me so I don't jab the sharp, sharp, sharp part. I don't know why I struggled you, saying that. Do you have a video that shows sewing the blocks together? Uh, no, but I'm going to be doing some. I wanted to wait till I was much better at it. Um, you better. Because I struggle and I didn't want to show anyone something that I wasn't that good at. Beautiful. All right, back to the machine. What's up? Um, but I think we talked about it on one thing where I told you guys how I do it. And it may not be the seamstress way, but that's how I did it. But I will be doing more videos. They're all, they all want videos. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can, this one is a sewing machine. Uh, even though I have a McSteamy, uh, there's no cameras around McSteamy, so I would change this one into a sewing machine so you guys can have a wonderful view and show you guys how I do it. Karina says we should have an iron control badge too. Alright, write it down. Have you ironed today? Like, have you hugged your kids <laughs> today? Have, says, have you ironed your fabric today? There you go. Sarah says uh, she loves your hexi design that you got hiding. Oh. Uh, oh. This one, the green one? <laughs> that one's in the works. That'll be upcoming for sure. 
Have you, Don's writing it down, have you ironed your fabric today? It'll be in the works. Is it a police badge this time? I kind of like my police badge. It's right here. Hot pink. It works. Sounds great, Sue. Sure you have one. We all start somewhere. Yeah. OML mug rugs are the best. We love you, Judy Quilt. That's awesome. Yeah, I am officially the mug rug queen. And I do think I should make myself a queen um, mug rug. I don't know, maybe in the shape of a crown or something. Mug rug queen with gold fancy, a gilded mug rug. There we go. That's what I think I'm going to do. Yeah. Ooh, we love the sneak peek. Yeah, I try. It's not finished and I changed a few things on it just aesthetically, but... See, I like this. You see how that's coming out with the burgundy? I like it. Iron yes, patrol. iron patrol with an iron in the middle. Well, you let Dawn design it. I have Mr. Stark. Actually, we had an accident. I was moving stuff around and I grabbed Mr. Stark, AKA Iron Man, and I pulled off one of his eyebrows and I had an eyebrow on my finger and I kind of thought it was a bug. So I wasn't impressed. And then I'm like, ooh, it's an eyebrow, which sounds horrible. It's a piece of fabric and tape. So, cause he always looks angry because I don't use them enough. <laughs> it's true. I'm not too big on ironing. I know you have to do it and it makes things better. I wouldn't have a wrinkle in the back of my mug rug if I ironed it properly. But you know, this turned out really well. I like the texture in this. So it's puffy and it looks like the bats are holding it down. And the white baseball with the flowers, I think that looks great. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, when you bring the colors together, that's that's one of my favorite moments. Oh, by the way, before you started si stitching the satin stitches, that's when you change your bobbin out to match. And it makes the back look just as pretty as the front. But we had some technical difficulties with my uh, cheater bobbins, I call them. They're not really, they're no just... Yeah, <laughs> they're just pre-round with different colors all in one pack and I got it off of Amazon but you kind of get what you pay for because I think we only paid like eight dollars or something for it on Amazon and some of them we just can't find the thread to start to use it so that's what happened that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it now, if you have software or on your machine you can add text to that yeah you could add text well. you know what would be really cool the date so 2021 and then a team name yep. there's so many things you guys can do with mug rugs like you can take this design and stitch out everything um, and don't put it back on it so you can put it on a shirt you could make it an applique. You could just stitch out these two parts. Yeah. There's so much you can do, but look, it's like a big patch. And I would put the date, 20, you know, 21 or whatever, and then curve whatever it is you want to say down at the bottom. And wow, that is a spectacular gift. I'm just saying. I think anyone would love something like that. I think most of the no, not the the um, upper end ones do, but a lot of them do, yes. All right, now we have a color stop in here because it does look really cool if you change the color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just for fun. So thread color changed on. Uh, it looks really good with the burgundy as well, but I want to, I want to, kick it up a little bit so if you want to use the same color just press start again and keep it going but uh, we like to give you guys lots of chances to be
creative and change the colors as much as you want. I mean, it's easy to do anyways. You just stop your machi machine and change the color. And there we go. Judy Quill says, I love the next stitch. Favorite of all time. You should have done maybe some baseballs or something, though. And this is what makes it kind of a, a lace finish which doesn't necessarily go with baseball but to me it just finishes it off I like to do something and plus let's kind of like my thing so I like it yeah I like it I'm glad I changed to black and burgundy that is a lovely combination well that's what caught my attention with the fabric black burgundy and two shades of gray. I really mean, nice whew, yeah. And this does, yes. I try to do that when I'm uh, working on stuff. I like it. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Don't you love it, Dawn? Are you gonna steal it? I think I might. I think I might, he says. Okay, and happy music. Ready? Oh, it's a bit quiet. says her grandsons are on a baseball all-star team and it'd be great as a patch on a jacket. It, absolutely. There's so many things you can do with it. Back to the desk, Doc. Yeah. There's so many things you can do with it. Now, if I had the correct color bobbin, this would look much better, but I don't. And I think that's great. You can also put more batting in between if you wanted you know to make it a little more absorbent i think that would work sometimes i do that depending on where it's gonna be so all i'm doing is trimming away the water the excess water soluble stabilizer and what we have to do now is, because there's still water under here, there's still water soluble stabilizer. And if you were to get a little bit of water on it, it's gonna crinkle all up and be like a hockey puck, uh, which is next week. Hockey puck is next week. So you wanna run it under water, um, you know, kind of warm water, and then throw it in a bowl and let it soak until it's all gone, rinse it again, and all this will be off and you'll be left with a beautiful edge. So um, yeah, think outside the embroidery box, guys. I think it would look amazing with something in these three areas so yeah feel free to customize it add your lettering if you need help with that please ask in the oml embroidery university facebook group everyone's always happy to help it is the the channel is the main place the facebook group is back up so if you have any questions because i don't always see all of the comments so if you have questions that is the best place to ask so head on over to omlembroidery.com and uh happy mug rug monday Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye everyone. Oh, I love the burgundy, don't you think? It's awesome.